Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jody, and on my channel I talk about Broadway and books. And in today's video, I will be continuing my Broadway show series where I talk about every Broadway show I ever got to see. So normally in this series on my channel, I go over a few things, who was in the cast, who was on the creative team, how I like the show, anything interesting in the playbill. So without any further ado, let's get on to today's show. So today I'll be talking about the 43rd Broadway show I ever got to see, which was when I saw the 2004 Broadway revival of Fiddler on the Roof. So I saw this show in February 2004 at the Minskoff Theater, and in case you weren't aware, the Minskoff Theater is the current home to The Lion King. So in case you didn't know, now you know. And now I'll get on to what's in the playbill. So before I get on to who's in the cast and my performance, um, there was someone out when I went, so here's the undersolly slip from, from that. <laughs> and now I'll get on into the cast. Uh, so here's the page with the headshots of the lead and supporting performers who were in the show. And then I'll get to the page with the chorus and standbys and understudies. Okay, so I'll just point some names out I recognize from having seen them in shows before or after I saw the misproduction of Fiddler on the Roof in 2004. Alpha Molina was in the show. He played the lead role. Um, I had mostly known him from film and television before this, so it's really cool to get to see him in a show. And he was really great in the show from what I remember. Randy Graff was in the show, Nancy Opal, John Canari, um, Chris Gelpi, who I recognize his name and picture in the playbill. And um, because he was in part of the original Broadway cast of Saturday Night Fever on Broadway, which was my favorite Broadway show ever, one of them at least. And he was actually the performer on the understudy slip. He was actually at the show the day I went, but he was in the production, so that's pretty cool. Um, Laura Michelle Kelly, Leah Michelle was actually in the show. Don't remember much about her performance. Um, she played one of the younger daughters who didn't really have a storyline, but you know, she was in the show. I saw her in Spring Awakening years later, and I'll eventually talk about that show when I get around to it. Um, Sally Murphy was in the show. And those are the only performers' names I recognize from having seen them in shows before or after I saw them in Fiddle on the Roof. Um, so now as far as the creative team goes, um, the names I recognize are Brian McDevitt, who did the lighting sign. He's on so many Broadway shows. I believe he's nominated even for a Tony Award for this season for a show he worked on. Um, and David Laveau directed the show. Um, he actually directed two shows within this theater season of 2003 to 2004. He directed the Broadway show Nine, which I never got to see, but that's always so cool when you see someone having directed two shows within one season, because that's, like, incredibly hard work. <laughs> and now for how I like the show, um, I really, really like this production of Fiddler on the Roof that I saw on Broadway. I had a really great time at it. Um, it kept my attention the whole time. Uh, I remember when the show opened, the critics kind of, like, I think it was pretty mixed reviews. They did, either liked it or they didn't like it. But personally, I liked it. I had a fantastic time the whole time. And this is definitely one of those shows, classic Broadway shows, you have to see on the stage at least once in your life. So I'm glad I finally got to see this show in 2004. I actually later saw it in 2016. And, you know, a little spoiler on my thoughts with that production versus this production. I like this production way more. Um, but uh, also, I think that's all I have to say. Oh, it has a great, great Broadway score. Can't remember if I said that already. Whatever. Um, I really love the playbill design for this as well. Um, as far as some of the musical numbers that are my favorites, it has a really great score, like I said, and pretty much every song is a good one. Um, let's see. Tradition, Matchmaker, If I Were a Rich Man, To Life, um, Sunrise, Sunset, Do You Love Me? Like, just amazing songs. Like, you know, even after all these years, I remember them which is a sign of a really great Broadway score. Um, now for anything interesting in the playbill. Now, I saw this show at the very, very end of February, and they tend to change the playbill, you know, dates, you know, in the playbill early. So that's why it says March instead of 2000. Uh, that's why it says March 2004 instead of February. But, you know, also there's Julie Bowen in the advertisement for Neutrogena. <laughs> but yeah, um, so there's that. Uh, at... In this theater season, uh, um, the Broadway revival Assassin had just either started or was about to start, and I will, will eventually talk about my time seeing this production as well, but there's a whole article in here about Stephen Sondheim and the show. And um, let's see what else is in here. I think that might be it, actually. there's I think there's one other thing I wanted to share. Oh, um... They have like, you know, Broadway Broadway performers recommending like restaurants and stuff. I thought it was really funny. They have Audrey too from Little Shop of Horrors recommending a restaurant. 
This is funny. There's Kate Renders. She was in uh, Gypsy at the time. I talked about that show on my channel. If you're curious, you can check my check my thoughts at it in my Broadway show series. <laughs> um, I think that's it. The next show I will be talking about, as it's my 44th Broadway show, is a show I've talked about not once but twice, but it'll be my third time talking about it. So hopefully that that's not too annoying. And it'll be my last time talking about it, but it'll be my last time where I talk about seeing Little Shop of Horrors on Broadway. That Broadway revival. So yeah. That's going to be it for today's video where I talk about my 43rd Broadway show, which was Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway. And be sure to stay tuned for my next video in the series where I talk about my last time seeing Little Shovel Horrors on Broadway. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, bye.